Hey guys, I haven't responded to an atheist YouTube video in a really long time because, well, atheist YouTube videos are like fingernails on the blackboard to me. I mean, all things being equal, I'd rather be watching like an Alyssa Violet video or something, but this video was recently brought to my attention, so I thought I'd respond to it as a way of getting back into the swing of producing content for my channel. Now, what we're about to see is one segment from an anthology video titled Seven Things Theists Say to Atheists, and it comes to us from the guy who actually organized it, Mr. Atheist. Now, Mr. Atheist's name is Mr. Atheist because atheists have no fucking personality at all, and there's nothing interesting about them, and they're only capable of repeating the same points they've been repeating since 2009. But I guess if your opponent keeps repeating the same points, you just have to keep repeating the same responses. So let's dive into this. Number three, but Isaac Newton, or insert any scientist or religious smart person here, believed in God. So the news got back to you, probably from your pastor or some other religious teacher, that Isaac Newton believed in God? Uh, no, I didn't learn it from my pastor that Newton and most of the greatest minds of civilization were devout believers. I know it because I'm a literate, culturally aware adult. So did Darwin. Maybe they even said Albert Einstein. So isn't an atheist assuming themselves smarter than all of those people when they claim that it is unreasonable or illogical to believe in God? In my experience, when Christians bring up Isaac Newton as an example of a great believer, it's typically in response to atheists saying that all Christians are stupid or that religious thinking is incompatible with scientific thinking. In that case, mentioning Isaac Newton would actually be a logical disproof by counterexample. Now, speaking of logic, you claim that belief in God is unreasonable and illogical? Do you have an argument for God's non-existence that no reasonable person could deny? Do you have a logical disproof of God's existence? Do you even know what logic is? I'm going to guess that's a no on all three counts. In that case, you have absolutely no basis for claiming that belief in God is unreasonable or illogical. No. Let's talk about Isaac Newton. That's the one I hear the most. Isaac Newton was born in the 1600s and was born into a religious family. It's no strange thing that people often end up the religion of their family. And do you want to know who else was brought up in a religious household? You! But somehow we're to believe that Mr. Atheist has the mental wherewithal to cast off the shackles of religious indoctrination, whereas poor little stupid Isaac Newton didn't. Uh, I'm sorry, the indoctrination hypothesis doesn't help you at all. Yes, it's true, people who were brought up in Christian households are more likely to grow up to be Christian, but then people who were brought up in atheist households are more likely to grow up to be atheist. People who were brought up in Democrat households are more likely to grow up to be Democrat. If you're going to use that as a basis for explaining away all Christian Christian belief, you can use that as the basis for explaining away any belief. One of the reasons he held on to his belief in God is because he had no cause to abandon it. Belief in God is what he considered the grandeur of creation, but he also lived before the Darwin days. Newton also lived after Aristotle and after Aquinas and after logical arguments demonstrating the necessity of God's existence, which cannot be voided by an explanatory device like Darwinism and cannot be voided by any scientific hypothesis, even in principle. Before biology became what it is today and before he understood that all of this thing that seemed amazing can actually be explained by perfectly natural means. Scientists, you can all go home now. Your work is no longer needed. Mr. Atheist is a simple naturalistic explanation for the whole shebang. I love Mr. Atheist's enormous presumption, which shows that he's as scientifically illiterate as he is historically illiterate and philosophically illiterate. No, we don't have simple naturalistic explanations, even for things that would bear up to naturalistic explanations. That we have things like the hard problem of consciousness, which materialist philosophers attempt to deal with by, well, asserting that consciousness doesn't exist. Then we have the matter of why the universe exists at all, or why it obeys fixed natural laws. Matters which don't bear up to scientific explanations without circular reasoning. And most of these men that people point to as, look, they were brilliant religious people. They usually lived in times where 
It wasn't okay to be non-religious and certainly not an atheist. Think of all the many people who have been put to death for heresy, for positing scientific hypotheses that later were fleshed out and turned out to be true. Okay, I'm going to give you a moment to list out the names of all the hundreds and hundreds of atheists who were put to death by Christians for positing scientific theories that were later validated. Please, be specific. Give names and I'll give you a moment here. Are you done? Let me guess, your list contains at most one name. If you have any name at all, that name would be Giordano Bruno. Now, the execution of Bruno by the Catholic Church was an unfortunate episode by any measure, but he also doesn't help your case because A, Giordano Bruno was not an atheist, he was a Dominican friar, and B, he was executed not for his scientific speculations, but for his religious heresies. Now, I will say that this myth of brilliant atheist scientists being put to death at the hands of Christians is worse than simply being false. It is murderous slander. The historical fiction of conflict between science and religion has been used by atheist regimes to justify the slaughter of hundreds of thousands of religious believers and clerics. These genocides of Christians at the hands of atheists are real, unlike the phony baloney execution of atheist scientists at the hands of Christians. Not to mention the religious beliefs of these people are greatly exaggerated. The claim that Darwin was a staunch atheist but had a deathbed conversion simply made up. Or that Albert Einstein was a theist, which if he was, he was a pantheist. He certainly wasn't a Christian. No, no one is arguing that Einstein was a Christian. But I love how Christian is just the dirtiest of dirty words to these idiots. Unfortunately, there's no time to wait while you Google pantheist. Uh, no, I don't need to Google it because, again, I'm a literate adult who doesn't depend on YouTube nitwits like you for my cultural education. But the next time that you think it's smart to point to Isaac Newton as a very brilliant person, as he undoubtedly was, who believed in God, therefore it is reasonable to believe in that, you might want to remember that Newton also believed in alchemy, and he likely died of mercury poisoning. Oh, that is awkward, isn't it? Uh, no, it's not awkward for the Christian believer at all, but then nothing you've said seems to hang together as a logical argument, so I guess it's par for the course. In any case, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.